Hello, I am Chris Hyams, uh, CEO of Indeed, and I'd like to welcome you all to the next installment of Here to Help. This is Indeed's look at how we've been navigating the global impact to COVID-19. Today is April 20th, and Indeed is on day 48 of global work from home. We started this series originally to share our experiences of how we made that transition and what we've learned along the way. But we've also started looking at what Indeed is doing as a business to help job seekers and employers all over the world. And looking around, it's clear that right now what people need the most is first, to remain healthy and safe, and second, some form of economic security. And as we've been saying, we don't build ventilators, but we do help people get jobs. So let's talk a little bit about what we're doing on that front right now. Um, today, I'm delighted to be speaking with Ryan Arroyo, Product Director for Indeed Hiring Events. Uh, Ryan, welcome and thanks for joining today. Yeah, good morning. Thanks, Chris. So let's uh, start off how I normally start these off with, which is how are you doing today? What's going on in, in your life, in your home? Yeah, I appreciate the question. I, I think, of course, I would love to say that things are back to normal and there are certainly days when, when I'd wish for that. But frankly, I think for the most part, I'm just so grateful that I have my health, or my family has their health and that I have meaningful employment that I feel like is doing something towards getting us back on track. So I just try to stay grounded by that. So yeah, it's great. Great. So um, as we get to talking about hiring events and, and what we're doing in this area right now, and, and in particular, how, how vital it has become, um, let's just start with you have been with Indeed for a while and recently moved into this role of running hiring events full time. Can you talk a little bit about your time at Indeed and what you were doing and, and how you got to where you are now. Yeah, so I, I started just over four years ago and actually originally in the San Francisco office. Um, I joined as a PM there for the app called Job Spotter, which was um, an app that helped aggregate the world's help wanted signs. Um, and so that was my, my first assignment and spent a number of years doing that and worked on the Job Seeker mobile apps and then about a year and a half ago, moved out here to Austin to join the hiring events team. Tell a little bit about just the history of hiring events, because it sort of came out of the work that you were doing before. And it has been one of the, the fastest growing new products for Indeed over the last few years and, and really has changed a lot of how we think about um, recruiting and hiring. So tell me a little bit about that story. It's really cool. The, the story starts back when we were a small team on JobSpotter moderating all of the different photos that were coming in of help wanted signs around the world. And we, we kept seeing signs that had time zones. They did say Thursdays three to five, uh, just come in um, versus the typical just generic help wanted. And so I started seeing these and, and was wondering why, why were they doing that? And what were they doing during that time frame? And I called up a number of these, these employers and asked them, and these are small bakeries and, and restaurants. I asked them, why that time and, and how does that work better than a normal help wanted sign? And they said, well, we can't always be here to recruit and the interview. So this is the time when the hiring manager is in the office ready to accept applicants. Otherwise, we just send them away and ask them to come back. So I started thinking, well, we at Indeed are really good at driving awareness. So why just rely upon a small number of people happening to see a sign in a window? Um, so, of course, JobSpotter was one way, but then I started thinking, well, what if we created an actual sign up form for that time slot? So then the employer would be able to know how many candidates were coming for that particular time. And in the scrappiest of ways, it, it started by setting up an actual type form that I somehow in retrospect got aggregated on Indeed Search and personally started seeing all of the emails and phone numbers, called them up, reminded them what this was and asked them to go into uh, this particular, it was a McDonald's in Memphis, Tennessee that we did it with first um, and started to see the magic of that. And, and clients were also seeing it. It was one of those moments when they didn't realize that there was a better way to do something, but fundamentally you were solving their same pain point. Um, and so, that evolved into an incubator pitch, which Naveed Hediati uh, led, and that became incub one of Incubator's first projects. Um, and he brought it from just that concept idea to something that was more at scale. Um, 
And then that was in, then about a year and a half ago when I came out to Austin to join him to, to scale it up even more. So, and uh, just for the folks that aren't familiar with Indeed, um, you mentioned the incubator. Can you just talk a little bit about what the incubator yeah. is? It's probably a helpful concept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the incubator is a internal innovation lab that uh, we use to bring the ideas from the ranks. And it can be anyone from an engineer to a product manager to a sales representative, bringing ideas on how to help job seekers or, or employers more efficiently connect. Um, and so it started as a very small idea um, led actually by Brendan Stern and, and it has turned into something really big that has lots of implications across the org. Before we get deeper into this, can you just talk a little bit about, so that was sort of the, the genesis of, of indeed hiring events and how they came to pass. What, what you know, before um, the world kind of changed in terms of how people are, are interviewing uh, in, in the middle of, of COVID-19, what what does indeed hiring events look like at the beginning of this year in terms of where you went from you and Naveed sort of starting out to the the scale that we achieved at the uh, you know beginning of this year? So so hiring events was a new type of advertising or it is an, a new type of advertising product that um, essentially we we call it direct to interview. It's this concept that a job seeker can see a job that's available, RSVP and completely go direct to interview. There's no apply and wait type of scenario. And so these were being used by enterprises and, and businesses across the world to recruit more efficiently. At first they were used only for high volume hiring scenarios um, and then just started to evolve to be a better way of recruiting. And the way that we would always talk about it is there are these steps that every job traditionally goes through. You post a job, you accept applications, you then have to manually screen and invite those to interviews. Um, and then you get to that, that formative step of interviewing. So we said, there are many jobs out there, whether it's because the volume is so high or their entry level and the interview is the most important first step that we can take those steps off an employer's plate and allow them to focus on the one thing that that is the most important part, which is the interview. And, and that's really fundamentally what hiring is. It, it's a hiring workflow improvement um, for employers. And then there are all kinds of benefits for the job seeker. Like they get to, they now have full control over their destiny um, and they get to have a guaranteed shot of interviewing, which is the one thing that job seekers have been telling us forever. We just give me a chance, you know, give me a chance to interview and I'll show them I'm great. Maybe I can't write a good resume, but I know I can do a good job. And so that's, that's sort of the, the genesis of it. And um, can you just briefly just talk a little bit about the, the scale of hiring events? Like how many events were, do, did we do last year and what, what were some of the bigger successes? Yeah, so um, we had thousands and thousands of events across the US, Canada, UK and Ireland. Um, and we were operating at um, huge scale. And, and one of our largest events of the year was with Best Buy at the end of the year where um, tens of thousands of people got hired in a single day. And so that was just really super impactful. And um, those were it, just really great to see the, the, the holiday hiring surge. So it was it was growing really fast, as you mentioned. And um, it, we we were just really excited with the scale it was at. So we have this, this whole new kind of idea for a set of products to take a job seeker direct to an interview, better for job seekers, better for employers, but it's all centered around a whole bunch of people all coming together and cramming into a small space at the same time. And yeah. then suddenly, globally, we have these stay at home and social distancing uh, directives going out. What happened to employers in terms of what they were looking for and how did you and the team respond to that? Yeah, I mean, towards the beginning of 2020, we started to see this come to the States and um, started to to feel like it was only a matter of time until hiring event volume for the in-person events would be impacted. Um, so we started to think about, okay, what well, employers will probably still need to hire. And certainly some employers will probably need to hire a lot more uh, job seekers like we're seeing now. So we we had been kicking around this concept of virtual hiring events for a while. In fact, we, we had it as an idea really at the second half of 2019. And, 
but the demand for it wasn't there. These were workflows that most employers weren't really ready for. In-person was just a traditional method. They would rather meet them than, than do something online. And so we've been kicking it around. We've been sending out user research studies um, and in the background working on the product itself. Um, so when we started to predict that a downturn would be coming, we shifted 100% of our team to focus on that effort so that we could be ready in, in what is just still an evolving story. Where are we with virtual hiring events? So we, you know, the, the team had already been working on something. We had a product, then suddenly, you know, talk a little bit about the demand and about how we've made that transition, and you know, yeah. about the events that have happened since then. So the the one of the reasons why, besides the fact that I want to say for a second that the hiring events team is one of the best teams I've ever worked with. I mean, their ability to to shift focus and work in an uncertain environment is is unprecedented, and so I, I want to give them a shout out because I'm not doing this on my own, but um, I, the thing about the platform that we had finally tuned over the years is very much the same, how job seekers discovered and search, how we um, drive the qualifications through screener questions and other things. What we did was just change that final step. So instead of a physical address, we said, go to this URL or call, call this phone number. Um, and so, from that standpoint, it was easy. We had um, to reconfigure some things, and um, but fundamentally, we were already doing a lot of the hard parts. Um, so that made it quick. We're, so where we are today is you can hold your own virtual hiring event on our platform. We will drive qualified candidates to the location. The, the catch is that um, you have to bring your own platform. That's what we call it. So in Pleaser employers that have uh, hiring solutions that um, they already use. What's coming immediately this week, in fact, and announcing it today because we've started our beta uh, this week is essentially taking the best of physical events and how they work. A candidate walks into a room, checks in, there's a waiting room, and then they get processed through the various desks of the hiring managers. We recreated that experience online in um, the, a virtual platform that we will connect directly to hiring events. And so this democratizes the, uh, the technology so that anyone can use and, and leverage virtual hiring events. Because frankly, what, what's happening now is, is um, virtual recruiting is really the only way that many clients can hire right now due to safety concerns. And so for large employers that are hiring frontline workers, um, it's really the only tool they have. And um, so we're excited to be, be there in the time of need. Yeah, and so you know, it's an interesting um, example of of how we've been talking about internally uh, a lot of these things that we have been working on for for many years that we have thought were sort of what might happen in the future when people catch up to it, um, and video interviewing being one of one of the big ones. There are some people who who have relied on it, but for most people, they still want to sit across the room from someone. When, when the world shifts like it has over the last couple of months, suddenly people start embracing things that seemed like they might have been five or, or 10 years off. You know, we've been, we've been yeah. using this phrase, the future is now, basically. And, and so in the middle of all this stuff, which is, it, it is the most difficult and challenging time that, that you know, the world collectively has been through in, in any of our lifetimes, but it's, it is opening up new opportunities and in particular, you know, I, I find it really inspiring to see how quickly people, our, our customers, both from, from very, very large, but also very, very small, are willing to sort of embrace these, these new things. Totally. And I, I think that's one of the most exciting things and really the silver lining of, of what we're going through is that we're going to emerge on the other side as a more efficient marketplace. Um, and some of these things that, that we've been wanting to do um, are just going to be accelerated and it's just going to be beneficial for, for everyone. How does the virtual hiring events and, and moving from something that was in person to something that is online, how does that help you think about scale and, and where we can go with this? Well, it's interesting because even though our name is hiring events and that really sort of implies that these types of recruiting scenarios only have to be for our largest employers with the highest of volume needs. Really what it is, is it's just a workflow improvement and that works well for two or a thousand. We like to say scale is a feature, really not a requirement. So um, 
the scale of 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 the of the platform is is really just up to what our clients need. But of course, virtual offers all kinds of new opportunities, and I think you could look at scenarios where um, they use it as in a really onesie twosie kind of way, where you just have candidates always always being processed. They never even have to set aside large blocks of the day because most jobs start with that first phone screen or video screen. And so this is just a way to make that more efficient. So yeah, virtual offers infinite scale, but also opens up really, really interesting stuff as well as workers that are remote. We may see a world where more workers will work remotely or businesses will be open to that type of uh, in interaction. And so how do you recruit someone in Montana from California when you never actually need to meet them in person without flying them across the, the country? And so virtual interviewing becomes a, a critical tool there. So at, at Indeed, you know, we have this sort of founding principle, this core value of we put job seekers first. And so something like hiring events, you know, came out of uh, a need from employers who wanted to be able to get a bunch of job seekers together so they could basically talk to and and you know for us one of the things that's great is it, in many cases make offers on the spot um right. we had also started to work so you, you you talked about this idea of direct to interview and that there it turns out that there's a bunch of different things we can be doing in this area so we had also started working on an idea of bringing a bunch of employers together in the same place and from a job seeker perspective the best thing that you could possibly imagine when well, it's great to be able to show up and talk to someone and get an interview and maybe an offer on the spot the best thing would actually be able to talk to multiple employers all at the same time back to back. So can you talk about the how the virtual platform might be able to evolve to, to handle that? Yeah, I think the, the real power of that is is making that process a lot more transparent for a job seeker and um, their ability to move from job to job becomes a lot easier as well. And there's a lot of anxiety with that. And so it really puts more onus on employers to make sure that they're delivering the best job they can in the most competitive in, in way. And there is nothing that's more clear of that, of that concept than when you have a lot of employers in the same space, whether that's virtual or a physical location, competing for talent. Um, that's, that's when it gets really exciting because then, then they can't say that, oh, um, you, here's, here's a job and you just have to take it. They know that they have to be uh, either finding the best fit or offering the most competitive packages. And so what Hiring Center was exploring there and will continue to explore uh, in the future is not only a, a, pl a place to democratize the ability to have an interviewing space. So for the smallest employers, they may not have an area where they can interview. So that was a really nice benefit of that. But then also it was giving that, uh, that opportunity of choice to, to um, job seekers. And so we want to do the same thing where uh, we're bringing together a lot of employers on a single day or a series of days and allow job seekers full choice and transparency over what's happening and um, guide them on what we think is a good fit for them. So one of the things that Indeed has been doing over the last several weeks is talking to as many large employers, um, government agencies, uh, people who are right now urgently trying to hire frontline workers and just offering up whatever help that we possibly can, given the, the technology, the data and, uh, and the job seekers that, that we can bring to the table. So we are we are doing a first pilot event uh, next week in uh, in New York State. Can you talk a little bit about what we're doing there? When you say you, we don't make ventilators, but we help people get jobs and and that this is just one thing that that we can do at scale. And so Indeed is sponsoring three days, so 28, 29 and 30. Um, a hiring, a series of hiring days where everyone all comes together and is recruiting these frontline workers. So frontline, this includes healthcare, but it also includes security guards for hospitals, grocery workers. These are just folks that help keep the world running. Um, and so we're, we're partnering with them to bring together a bunch of folks and we're going to be marketing a centralized page where a, a job seeker can go and find the right job for them based on job title, location, and other things. And so this will be sort of round number one, hopefully of many, or we're calling it sort of our heroes uh, hiring days um, where um, we do a little bit extra to help 
job seekers and employers connect and um, hopefully keep keep things running, especially in New York that's just getting hit so hard. Yeah, and so one of the the nice things about this is that um, you know we're able to approach this. Our our mission as a business is is to help people get jobs, and um, this is something that we can do to be helpful in the world right now. And and we recognize that um, you know times are, are really challenging for these people who are trying to do this hiring. They don't have a staff that has ever been ready to to recruit at the at the scale that they're trying to hire right now, um, and a lot of them. Funding is tight right now, so we're we're putting this event on. We're uh, you know doing it for free, and we're doing all the marketing and uh, and the infrastructure ourselves. Um, and we really hope that this is something that we're going to be able to then start to replicate in in other cities uh, around the world. So um, just since we have this platform here, if there's anyone in New York who is trying to hire, do you want to just talk about um, what they can do if they're interested in participating in this event? Yeah, so so reach reach out to um, I guess the the cl- easiest one is your Indeed sales representative who would know how to how to focus it. Um, and essentially, if you're if you're looking to hire uh, frontline COVID workers and you're willing to recruit on one of those three days, and you have um, a way to do it, so we're, we're recommending Zoom as the the platform of cho- choice for this initial uh, initial day. Um, please get in touch. We'd love for you to be a part of the day and. Um, and again, if you don't grab this one, um, you know, there'll be many more in the coming coming months, especially as more and more cities go back to work in a, a, big, a big way. Um, just to kind of bring things to, to a close here, you know, this idea of a crisis like this um, also having uh, some kind of opportunity. You talked about the silver lining of, of people being able to recognize that they can do things that before, before might have seemed scary um, or, or sort of farther off in the future. Obviously, when when things go back to whatever kind of normal they go back to after this, and obviously we don't know how long this will last or what it will look like, there's a bunch of things that that we're all looking forward to, to getting back to, quote, the way they were. But there's some things that from this experience, um, you know, we'll look at and say, well, we actually can do things a different way. What are what are some of the things that you think about will be sort of forever different coming out of this for, for how we work and, and for how we can help job seekers and employers? My guess is that we're, we're realizing how much can actually be done virtually. I mean, the concept of a virtual happy hour was nothing that I ever would have thought about prior to uh, this experience. And so, but what it's done is it has allowed me to stay more in touch with friends who I may not have been able to talk to very often or they're in different parts of the world. And so th- I think that in the personal s- landscape, virtual, I think will become more important, but as it relates to business from recruiting to remote work workforces, you know, these are concepts that, that I think a lot of technology companies over the years have been sort of trying to push, um, but we never really adopted it. And it was, it was still this kind of have someone come to an office that means that they're a hard worker and, they're, they're being productive. I, th- I think those are being challenged now and companies will come out the other side saying, well, we can recruit remotely. We can have remote workforces. Um, it works It works well and folks can, can enjoy more parts of their life um, because they're not stuck in a car commuting for huge hours of the day. So I, I, think, I think that's that's one. But when we do have in-person experiences, whether that's an interview or a uh, friends and family meeting up, I think they'll be more special. I think, I hope that we'll be um, able to focus on that and, and realize that in this in this time, we haven't had it. And so when we're in person, maybe we put our phones away, uh, we focus on that and we kind of treat it as an analog moment that it really should be because every other time we're just connected through technology. And so um, that's, that's, you know, if that's something that we can kick out of it, I, I think that would be pretty cool. That's great. Well. Thank you again, Ryan, uh, for your time today, but uh, thank you especially for everything that you do for Indeed and for you know creating this entire new opportunity for us to, to help job seekers and, and to help employers, and especially right now when, uh, when that help is, is so needed. So looking forward to the events next week in New York and beyond. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be have, have an opportunity to do it.